Yo, what is up, guys? My name is, of course, System Z. Welcome back to Astroneer, the wonderful world uh, that we are in. <laughs> the Astroneer world, as we'll call it. System Z's planet of awesome times. Sure, why not? <laughs> Today, we are going to be researching some stuff. Most notably, this satellite that's over here. I don't really know what it's about. I'm very curious. I've never done this, so this is all going to be new. Uh, we really need to get over there without dying because that seems to be a common mistake of mine. Let's see if I can make any more uh, tethers. I don't believe I can. Yeah, I'm missing some more compound. Uh, fortunately, there's some compound near there, I believe. So let's just try and get that before we really go and, and think we're going to die. Actually, there's some oxygen laying on the ground over there, so I think we'll be good for now. Like, We're just going to grab a few things. I can't really, I don't think I can really grab this whole satellite. So let's just, well, you know what? Let's just try. Let's just see what happens as we dig it out. Because this is something that I imagine we could use. Actually, yes, it has its own little connector. I feel like this is something that we could use. We need more oxygen. I don't want to die again. I don't want to have to see my own body. That's some Rick and Morty type stuff. No power. Of course, now it's nighttime. Let's grab some of this power over here and not die as we do it. As I said, common recurrence, you know how it is. More power, don't mind if I do. I love how like you get a lot of power from that too. And oxygen, Like that's very awesome. That way I'm not just sitting here mining the whole time when I do wanna, well I guess I'm mining still, but. There we go, okay, so now, can we grab this? We can't, we can't pick this up. That makes sense. Let's grab something smaller then, uh, like perhaps this here. I don't quite know what that is, but we can certainly grab that and run away with our goods. We stole it. It's mine. <laughs> Oxygen low. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to try and just... Now, you know what? We can make it, right? Yeah, because that's where our oxygen line is right there. So we're good. We are good. We got something successfully. We are going to research the heck out of it and try and do something cool with it. It looks like a giant like Rubik's Cube. I just touched my microphone. I'm sorry about that. Don't know if you heard any noises and whatnot. But if we just place that right there and press the button of good, the button of justice researching is happening. What is happening in particular? It's going to open it up and do some stuff. Like, I don't. Let's see what we get out of this. This, is, I'm pretty sure, it just allows us to make more stuff. Filters, huh? Is that. Okay, filters are here. I wish it would give you a tooltip to show you exactly what it is. That's tethers. We need more compound. That's a bummer. Uh, I didn't see any compound over there, so I think our best bet is to actually let's see what this is. We could probably research this as well. It looks like something I could like. No, that's literally nothing. Okay, glad I wasted my time then. <laughs> Good sir. Let's just try and find some more compound then. That way we don't have to worry about it. We can get more tethers. Let's move this one that way, anyways, because that's the direction we are going in. I actually have more tethers. Why am I not using them? <laughs> At least we can be closer and not die, you know? We can just use our tethers that we already have. Sounds like a plan, System Z. Do that. There we go. Okay, let's grab that. I'll take it. Looks like a portal gun. Why not? Run away with my loot. I've got it in my hand. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. Look at me. Running around with a robot arm that looks like it's from Portal. It does, does it not? It looks like a broken, large portal gun or something. I don't know. Okay. So now we're following our electricity line here, basically. And it looks like there's some weird lighting coming from somewhere. There's light that way and then light with my, like, flashlight. And it's just throwing me off balance. It's weird. I don't know. And my dog is doing some weird stuff. Okay. We've got our item. And we can set it there and research it, right? Or do I not have enough power? Wait. Why did it go there? Give me that back. Can I not research this? I think I can. I think it needs power, though. Let's maybe wait. Is that not something I'm going to better research? Mm, I guess not. Man, that's a bummer. I was really hoping. Okay, what if I just do that? <laughs> and then it looks like it's like not really anything. You see what it's doing? It's like going into the item. It's like it's just being weird. I'll just set that here for now. We'll just we'll just keep the garbage <laughs> over by our base. Why not? Okay, let's just try and go grab more stuff. That's what this episode is about, is researching. We're just trying to figure out who we are. Why are we on this planet? Why are we here? Why are we no longer a square? These are questions that we will just have to figure out. I'm really curious about hooking this up. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Solar. Let's let's get this solar thing. Put it there. Is that gonna power it? Because it is daytime. I feel like this should power it. Hello? You gonna do it? You see the solar thing is actually pointing towards the sun. It's just not powering it. Um I don't know. And neither do you. Let's grab this though. Is that a rock? What's happening to the satellite? What is going on with it? Let's yeah, okay. Let's just let's get away before some aliens come and attack us. I feel like that's what's going to happen. It's doing more stuff. I'm concerned right now. I'm just going to ignore it. You guys let me know what that's all about. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys know cuz you you guys are like the all-seeing comment section. You know what I mean? You guys are like the Wikipedia of YouTube. So thank you for that. Thank you for your assistance in my journeys in space. That's it's helpful. I'll admit. Okay, let's see what this is all about and research this good old box that we just picked up. Picked it up from Ikea. Space Ikea, that is. Boom. There we go. And ready to research. It fell over. Nope. Give me that back. What are you doing? You get on your platform. There you go. Now we can do more research. Let's see what this lovely item is. What do we have today? It's like a gambling type thing. I'm going to hit the jackpot. Come on. Unlock toasters or something. A fuel condenser. Fuel condenser. I don't know. That's not something I make here, is it? I have a feeling I need to... I need to, like, extend this. We probably ought to go ahead and do, like, a printer or something. Do I have any resin? Please tell me I have some resin. No resin for me today. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Just gathering the resin as we needed. <laughs> and there's more in there, it looks like. Yes. Oh, no. I'm out of power and oxygen. Let's grab some of this stuff so we can breathe. Because breathing is nice. It's always nice. I went ahead and grabbed some resin. And I also went ahead and died. As you guys could probably tell. Because of the lack of, you know, good materials. I died. I was trying to get some resin from a cave. Trying to be cool. Thought I could do it early on in the game. But apparently not. Apparently I'm still very weak. And don't have the power to just do cool stuff. So, that's what we're trying to do today. What's going on here? It looks like something broke. Okay, we're going to do that, and now we're going to use this resin uh, and just do that. There we go. Now we're going to make a printer. <laughs> I've never used a printer in this game, so I don't... I Actually, we're not going to make a printer because apparently I don't have enough resin. <laughs> I need resin. I just... I'll never have enough resources. That's just how it seems to be. You know, it's a game that's really teaching me a lot about life. It's like, hey man, look, you got to realize something. You... You are not going to have everything right off the bat. you got to work for it. You know, and that's a good life lesson that it's teaching. It really is. you got to work for things. <laughs> you know, like in Terraria, you got to go out and work for everything. In Minecraft, you got to go out and work for everything. In Age of Empires, even, you have to go out and work. you just got to gotta do it. And it's, it's just part of life and part of games, I guess. I'm ranting at this point because I don't know what to talk about. No, I'm kidding. I know what to talk about. And what we're going to talk about now is how in the world we're going to get that satellite going for one. But no, what we're really going to start talking about, well, freaking where is our oxygen? Okay, I've lost it, apparently. Um, I don't, okay, we can just go home. That's fine. Whatever. I'm freaking out for nothing. I've died so many times at this point that I just don't want to keep dying. Ah, but we're good. Okay, so what we're going to talk about, though, is this freaking 3D printer. I don't know what in the world it does. I don't know how we're going to really utilize it. Um, we need copper, and we don't have copper. We're just never going to have any resource, are we? <laughs> no, that's fine. That's what I like about this game is you have to go out and get stuff if you want it. I'm going even further down now. This is scary. This is getting real now. I actually don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Am I dying? Is this poison? No, it's the it's damage, isn't it? Ah, man, that's not good. That's really not good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to just try and get back out of here. I don't. Let's put that up for now. Okay. No, we need it. Oh, come on, get out. There we go. Okay, more power would be nice. Let's grab that and go. We've got copper. I, do we have enough copper though? No, we do. We do not. I'm very glad that we did not leave yet because I would have been very upset knowing that we did not have enough copper. It just seems like you get enough copper. You know what I mean? Now we have enough, or at least for now. And you know what I'm going to do? I think between now and the next episode, I'm going to spend some time, just some personal time, getting some resources. <laughs> because I these past few episodes have been nothing but that. And I know that's not all you want to see. So, 
that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to use this as a way to get out for now. Uh, although it's going to take me a moment to get up. So I will see you guys whenever we reach the surface. Hopefully we don't die. That would be very bad and very sad. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's very cramped. So we're just going to try and make our way out of here. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, let's go ahead and smelt down this copper. Get that started. And then, actually, wait a minute, look. Oh, there's aluminum, right. Okay. Aluminum, there's one of the coppers and the other copper up there, right? Uh, can I grab it? <laughs> Apparently, I cannot grab it. Give me that. No, that's a cop. Oh, it's not done, is it? Oh, it needs power, right. Okay. <laughs> Duh. All right. Um, more organic, I guess. That's what we're going to have to do is just go out and get more of that. But that's not hard at all. Like, as you can see, I'm pretty sure even if you're just digging up the ground, you get more. And we're almost done. There we go. Yeah, I don't even think you have to get the flower things. I'm pretty sure if you just grab, like, anything from the ground, even dirt, I'm pretty sure that that's fine. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll allow us to finish the smeltery. Uh, really? I'm going to have to wait for all the power? That's not good. Do I have enough? No, I only have one copper. I'm actually really worried because I might not even have enough. and the, Or I might actually have to go get more copper ore in order to make a full copper bar. I could have sworn that it would do it anyways. But maybe since it's stalled out in the middle and I'm having to wait for the power to regenerate, then maybe, just maybe, it might not make it all. But we'll see here. No, it didn't. Ah, oh, man. Now I'm really going to have to go back and get more copper. Are you serious? That is a bummer. That is really a bummer. Hmm. But, you know, we need this printer. We really need it to... <laughs> we really need it. I think we do. Uh, all right, there's one more copper. I really don't want to have to go back because, like, at this point, it's very hard to find a good amount of copper. But... You know what? We've got to do it. And I'm going to do it just really quickly. Like, I'm going to just try and do it now and get back with you guys after I've got it. That way you're not continuously watching me fail down in the cave systems. See, I'm a smart guy. And that is why I'm going to see you guys in just a minute to grab copper. <laughs> All right, and I've got the copper now. Now we're just going to run around here and finally place it there. Now... We can get our printer. And this is going to be the first time I'm ever doing this. I have no idea what the printer does. And, of course, it needs power. <laughs> All right. Um, I think the best thing to do is this resin. It is. I don't think there's really anything I can do with resin. Uh, well, I can make a wind turbine. Or turbine, rather. Not turnbine. <laughs> that, I believe, would allow me to make power for now, at least. That'll be fine. Just to at least see what in the world this is. I actually don't even know if I can do anything with it. I just really wanted to play with it. Solar panel. Storage. Oh. Okay, so this is like big stuff. One seat ride, I guess. Solar panel. Okay, storage. Storage is something I would love to use. And before we end off the episode, we're going to use that to make storage. And just to see exactly how the printer works. Because, you know, that's what this Let's Play is all about. For me and you to learn. <laughs> learn, darn it. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to run over here. I guess this works. Just to pick up a little bit of compound or styrofoam. And there's a lot more here than I thought there'd be, quite honestly. And how much do we have now? Um, I wish the camera work wasn't so kind of weird. Okay, let's keep doing that. I think we've pretty much used it all. And now we're going to have to go grab some oxygen. Hopefully we don't die. Man, I'm tired of dying. <laughs> uh, like, no joke. The caves are dangerous, man. I didn't think they'd be that dangerous, but they are. They are very, very spooky, too. Okay, and that's our cave system, which I am not going down. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to go and try and get more from where we've been getting it, which is by the satellite. I really need to get better at remembering locations because I think, why isn't that tether working? I don't know. Uh, I think that there's plenty of different spots where we could be getting the compound. I just keep forgetting, <laughs> which is really the reason why I'm running around and making so many different quarries, like just because I don't remember where anything is. Uh, and we've probably already ran around at this point, like, past so many different deposits. There's some. Okay. Yeah. This will be more than enough. And it looks like we're by a cave system again. But I need oxygen here in a moment, so I'm not going to stick around too long. I just want to make storage 
So that way, like I said, I'm going to be getting more resources on my own after this episode. Uh, and then we'll come back next episode and do more stuff. Probably going to be playing around with vehicles. So make sure you tune in for the next episode. Uh, but I think I'm going to use storage, or at least use the uh, compound, to make a storage device. That way we're going to be able to you know store more stuff so we can come back and not have to worry about only having like two of each item in my backpack because that's kind of lame uh, but this is hopefully good enough we've got i think enough that should be good so there's one there and then we've got one there now we should be able to make some storage so it's just printing like it always does with everything so that's cool to know um we really need to get more wind turbines and we've got more aluminum so let's do it why not Okay, so this is our storage device. Let's just kind of plant that down, see how that works. Oh, so it's actually solid, and then of course we run over here, place the resin down. Goes on each side too. That's really cool actually. Uh, what else could we make? Because I would like to hook up more power. I think the wind turbine, the big one, is pro- Oh no, I used all the aluminum, didn't I? That's a bummer. <laughs> That's really a bummer. A battery takes lithium and then copper for a generator, obviously. So it's like a better version of the inventory ones. Now, I am curious about this one seat, though. I think that has to do with vehicles, and I'm not going to better use it unless... No, give me that back. There we go. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. Why not? One seat. Yeah, we're obviously not going to be able to ride this around. <laughs> if anything, we're going to better just sit on the ground with it. But, you know, that's fine. Yeah, let's take this and just set it down. Let's just go sit. Can we can we even use it? No, we can't. We we really can't even use it. I just wasted that. Ah, oh, isn't that great? But yeah. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Astroneer is a really fun game at this point. I am loving this let's play. I hope you guys are too. And uh, just let me know what you think down in the comments below. And let me know how you feel about it. And just let me know if you know of any way I can stop dying so much. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, guys, without further ado, my name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching.